Hello everybody, it's been quite a while since I did my last video and it's now got to the time where I need to change my front discs and pads. So I thought I'd do a video on the stag on me doing this. And I know there are other videos out there of disc changes, uh, pad changes, but I'm gonna, this one's gonna be a little bit different because the reason I'm changing mine is I always promised myself that when my front discs needed replacing, I was going to upgrade the braking. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I've got myself some Rossini high performance discs. I've got the um, upgraded four pot calipers as well. And so I want you to join me on this journey so that you can see how to, or uh, maybe not do it. So here they are, the four pot calipers and the ventilated Rossini discs. So the next time you see these, hopefully it's gonna be when I actually try fitting them onto the stags. But uh, first things first, let's take the wheel off and take the old offending items off. So I've already loosened off the uh, nuts when it was on the ground. Got the car and axle stands. One tip that I often do is if I'm doing a job and I know I'm going to get dirty and oily, I'll actually um, photocopy the page out of the Haynes manual. So I've got the instructions on the front hub on this one, I've got the instructions on the brake drum on, uh, sorry, the brake uh, discs on this one, and it doesn't matter how messy and oily these get, it's not going to wreck my book. One of the great things about uh, these old fashioned cars is you can actually use a magnet to uh, pop your light in the wheel arch because it's not plastic. And uh, I don't know whether you can see just here, but here we've got one bolt just here, which holds the caliper in place, and then there's another one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Underneath, there we go, right underneath, down there. So we'll take these two off and then we'll be able to slide our caliper out of the way. One thing I might do, I might actually just remove these two pins and slide the pads out because that will also uh, allow me to uh, slide this off here because we've got a little, uh, it should be all right actually, we'll try it, we'll try it without, we'll t try taking the whole thing off all at the same time. Lovely. I don't know when these uh, bolts were last uh, undone, probably a little while ago, uh, but uh, this needs a little bit of encouragement, so. There we go. Let's just see. Ah, there we go, that's it, that's what we want for that one. And uh, we'll just try the other one. So do the same again. There we go, that's it. Now one of the things the instructions say <clears throat> that for normally when you're taking off one of these uh, calipers is to make sure that you've got something to hang it on to support it with because you don't want to be damaging the uh, hose. I'm going to be replacing this hose with a braided hose anyway. So in fact before I take this off uh, completely I've just loosened up the back screw the back box at the moment. I'm going to actually disconnect it here. Um, now, I'm not bothered about the fluid running away because I'm going to be replacing the brake fluid anyway. Uh, I've got no idea when the last uh, change of brake fluid was done on this car. It certainly hasn't been done by me, so it is probably well and truly due. Okay, so we'll try 9 sixteenths on this. Everything's even, e either a half or a 9 sixteenths on a stagger, or so it seems to me. Oh, and it is. <laughs> Good guess. Oh, that came off mightily easily. Oh, there we go, and we're starting to uh, just leak a little bit, so we'll pop this underneath to catch whatever might want to escape. 
Oh, that's good. That's fabulous. And I'm hoping, I don't know whether I'll be able to or not, but I'm very much hoping that when I do replace the um, the uh, pipes and all the rest of it, well, the, these pipes anyway, that I'm going to be able to use the existing um, copper piping. So I'm going to take off the um, caliper and for that we're going to take these out. Should be able to remove the shoes now that uh, we've taken these out. Aha, uh -huh. and there we go. Oh, that's coming out all right. I uh, promise you that this wasn't pre-prepared. That was mighty easy. I have to say, I'm rather impressed. Okay, that's out. And this should. Okay, why is that not coming off? That's running freely. There has to be another bolt somewhere, maybe. Let me just check. just come out with a little bit of help. I'll, I'll uh, come back to you. It's just right? stiff, so I've uh, jammed my screwdriver down here. And there we go. Now we have it off. Okay, so now, as I unscrew that, I'm just gonna twist this round and uh, it should come off rather nicely, or well, hopefully it will anyway, without buckling this stupidly. <laughs> there is, there is a better way of doing it and I can see it already. Okay, so there is a nut underneath, the nut underneath here, that's all I've got to do, is actually undo the nut rather than undoing that. So I'll come back to you on that one. Right, now I know what I'm doing, <clears throat> well at least I think I do. So we're going to be undoing the bolt underneath, fresh pair of gloves, nice cup of tea. It's all going to go swimmingly well now. That's it. I can feel it uh, <laughs> doing it up. It's all coming together now, says I. Taking the seat and doing this is the easiest way I have found. And the issue that we've got <clears throat> is that that is of coming up so it's all wobbly and then to pull it up whilst isolating it and then I can actually get this underneath and I'm finding it easiest to do it with this bit there we go and it's just a slow slow job will come and it's, it gets very tight as you get to the end. I'm guessing that's because that's where all the dirt and gunk is that's been exposed underneath the car. But it will happen. It will come off. Sometimes doing these jobs you just have to think you can't rush it probably been on here for, I mean this this old girl she celebrated her 50th birthday this year so you just don't know when some of these things were last looked at 
I don't think this has been on for 50 years. I think it's quite safe to say that. But, oh, ah, suddenly come loose. There we go. It's not quite finger, finger loose yet. Yes, it is. There we go. Oh, yes. There we go. So we've got a spring washer. And we've got the bolt here somewhere that just fell down. Here we go. There's the bolt. And uh, you can't see that, can you, because of the light. There we go. There's the bolt. There we go. We are free. Fabulous, which does mean I should now be able to just lift this off. Yep. Like that. Job's a good one. And now, time to do battle with this old bit. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna finish my cup of tea first.